Phase two reopening officially got underway across Louisiana this weekend when New Orleans joined the rest of the state and with the world and now with the world reopening, the governor's ban on evictions is set to expire, which means people who haven't been able to pay their mortgage may see an eviction notice. Duke Carter is live in front of City Hall this morning and Duke, when exactly do court proceedings to hear those eviction cases start? They could begin today, Jade, and so there are many different factors involved with uh, the process. And while the ban on evictions does expire, it can be confusing because of the Federal CARES Act. So we learned, according to housing NOLA leaders, that landlords cannot evict people who are in subsidized housing. Landlords can also not evict if they have a federally backed mortgage like Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. And while housing NOLA leaders say the city has done many things to respond by getting homeless off the streets. They say the virus exposed a lot of housing issues here in the city of New Orleans. Take a listen to what housing and, and not too long in the next few months, we're going to start seeing people um, losing their housing, losing their homes, um, as well as people not able to pay their utilities. You might have people who are going to be able to keep their apartment, but they can't pay their, their light bill. And we've got moratoriums on cutoffs. But again, those things are going to start to end and and people are going to be sitting in the dark if they're lucky or on the streets if they're not lucky uh, by the end of summer. So here's what housing NOLA leaders are asking political leaders to do to help with the housing situation here in New Orleans. One is provide immediate rental and utility assistance. Two, uh, put housing authority vouchers, uh, put housing authority voucher families into vacant homes. Three, include housing funding in all federal emergency spending packages. Four, mortgage payments, residential and commercial, must be deferred until the end of the loan. Now, coming up at uh, the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to be hearing from city staff about what they're doing to make sure people at least have suitable housing and adequate housing and make sure they can possibly stay in their homes here in New Orleans. We'll have that for you. But for now, reporting live, Duke Carter, Eyewitness News. Thank you so much, Duke.